Okay, the first thing uh, we'll launch iWeb. And if this is the first time you've ever launched iWeb on your Mac, you'll get this dialog box. And you can just click no thanks. You can sign up later. going to close this and this is what I had from before okay if you've never opened iWeb before you'll probably be asked to um, set up a site you'll get this dialog here first thing and since we're just uh, merging images or putting together an image composite you want to just pick the white blank and choose and you'll get this new page. Um, click on the site that you just created and set publish to local folder and give the site a name. Um, it can be anything really. And then um, pick a location. Um, the default should be in your sites folder. Uh, create a new folder. Um, and select choose and go back to your page alright everything is set up uh, you'll want to um, show the inspector this little thing over here and I'm going to hide the media I have a folder that has images in it here and I'll just start dragging the pictures I want onto the page like this and we'll do something like this okay um, I will will take almost any kind of image including Photoshop documents and you'll notice they already have the alpha channel they're transparent I've got another one here somewhere. Hang on a second. If I hold down the command key here and click on this, I can go up one. I know this one has a white background. All right, perfect. Let's save this over here for a little bit. Okay. I uh, don't have a whole lot of room to work here. I want more vertical. Uh, orientation on this so I'll go to layout uh, let's get rid of the footer type in zero and hit the enter key um, let's change this to 600 gives us a little bit more room um, We don't need to include this. We'll include that. That gives us a little bit more room. All right. Let's start arranging things. Uh, you'll notice that these images have a stacking order. This one is behind, and this one is in front of everything. Well, if you have an image like this and you want to get rid of the white all white or all the same color background you can go to format instant alpha then take the crosshairs and click in the background and drag out uh, there we go and just keep doing that multiple times until you get rid of everything that you want to get rid of in the background like that then hit the return key and you're done now you have transparent background on this image uh, you can add drop shadows this is this little icon stands for the graphic palette this one is for metrics these are the two uh, palettes you will probably be using the most for images 
and we can add a drop shadow here I personally like my drop shadows down to the right so I'll drag this angle out to about 240 and offset it just a little bit more blur it a little bit more take the opacity down a little bit or a lot you can also add reflections for each one of these images just turn on the reflection like that and you get this really cool reflection you can add uh, picture frames or line outlines or none picture frames are pretty cool but you got to click this little disclosure triangle and add the picture frame you want and you see that you can create these frames around your images for all of these I don't really want anything all right all right I want to send this image to the back so I'll click on it to select it and then go to the arrange and send backwards and it'll go one layer at a time towards the back uh, you can use command shift B to send it back and I've sent it now behind the, the amp image I set this uh, up here in the top guitar down here it's in front of this and here we have a quick little arrangement of images I'm going to turn on my shadows and reflections shadow reflection and keep these kind of tight I'm going to create a shape uh, this shape here you got a rectangle and if you notice real closely this is a rounded rectangle I like that one and click on the shape and resize it send it to the back command shift B alright it's behind everything resize it to fit I'm gonna need a little bit more room on the page so I can go back to the page layout content height just go up to 750 enter okay I have plenty of room now uh, I'm gonna move Oh, all right. I'm going to select the shape. Make sure it's sized okay. And I'm going to fill this with a gradient. It's a nice gray here. Well, this is actually a kind of bluish gray. Here. I'm going to stroke the outline with a chalk and I'm going to give that a color of one of these colors in here is pretty good so I'll select the little eyeglass uh, magnifying glass and pick a color right there and you have there you have you can just tweak everything around rearrange things And now, I'm going to hide this real quick. Here's how you create the image. You hold down the command, shift, and type 4. And your cursor turns into that little target crosshair. And I'm going to go up to this corner, draw down to this corner, 
and when I let go this will be a brand new image on the desktop it just appeared right down here you can double click on that it will launch in preview and you can save it to any other file format you want to go to save as give it a name you notice it's a PNG um, just save this to the desktop uh, you can switch this to a GIF, JPEGs, BMPs, whatever else you need, um, PDF, Photoshop, whatever. Click Save. You're done. Now you can upload this to your site and use it as a single solid image.